Wazirx files, police case after cyber attack on multi-signature wallet, fear registered by Delhi police. Hassan Shitu last updated. August 6, 2024, at 1648 GMT3, two minutes, read. Wazirx, a leading cryptocurrency exchange based in India, has taken a significant step in addressing the aftermath of the major cyber attack on its systems by filing a first information report for with the Delhi police. The attack, which compromised one of the exchange's multi-signature wallets, resulted in the loss of over $234 million. The latest filing marks a crucial development in the ongoing efforts to bring the perpetrators to justice and recover the stolen funds. Fur filled and other special agency now involved. The cyber attack on Wazer X's multi-signature wallet involved sophisticated techniques that bypass the platform's security measures. The wallet, which was operated using Liminal's digital asset custody and wallet infrastructure, had six signatories, five from Wazerex and one from Liminal. Transactions required approval from three Wazerex signatories and final approval from Liminal signatory. Despite these precautions, attackers exploited a discrepancy between the data displayed on Liminal's interface and the actual transaction contents leading to unauthorized transfers. In a statement on X, formerly Twitter, Wazerex detailed the incident based on a complaint filed by us in connection with the cyber attack on our multi-sig wallet, the police have taken cognizance of the matter. And an FIR under BNS and IT Act has been registered on 5th August 2024 at PS Special Cell, PS Lodi Colony, New Delhi through Intelligence Fusion and Strategic Operations, if so, of Delhi Police. The FIR was registered on August 5th, 2024 by the Intelligence Fusion and Strategic Operations IFSA unit of the Delhi Police. Wazirx expressed confidence in the investigating agency and pledged full cooperation. The exchange emphasized its commitment to recovering the stolen assets and bringing the hackers to justice. We are actively working on recovering the stolen funds and are hopeful that those responsible will be brought to justice. Wazirx exploring other means of rectification amidst community backlash. The community's reaction to the incident and the subsequent FAR filing has been mixed. Some users criticized the delay in filing the FIR, while others acknowledged the complexity of the investigation process. Wazirx clarified that the initial police complaint was filed the day after the hack, but the formal FAR took additional time due to procedural requirements. CEO founder Nishal Shetty reassured users, stating, Just like all our customers, we too want the culprits of this theft to be caught and the funds recovered. We're constantly working on progressing toward next steps and solution. We'll continue to do that. In response to the attack, Wazirx has been transparent about the measures it had in place and the nature of the breach. The wallet's configuration included robust security features such as the Gnosis Safe multi-sig smart contract platform and Liminal's whitelisting policy. Wazirx's preliminary findings indicate that the cyber attack involved replacing the payload during the transaction process, which misled the signatories about the transaction's true contents. This discrepancy allowed the attackers to gain control over the wallet. According to the exchange, its team is working to recover the stolen funds and has already blocked a few deposits linked to the theft. Also, the exchange is collaborating with various wallets and cybersecurity experts to trace and reclaim the assets. In addition to the steps the Wazerex team is taking in the fund recovery process, Shetty shared in a speech after their recent poll to get feedback from the community that they're looking at other means to reimburse affected customers. We are exploring the possibility of creating a new project or some initiative that can help where we can airdrop tokens to our affected customers. Follow us on Google News.